Now to a major battle, political mm -hmm. battle, right here in California. It's the campaign for governor. The candidates faced off today in their first and only scheduled debate. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan shows us some of the key moments from today's clash. And there were some pretty good moments, mm -hmm. and it was an important debate, obviously, with uh, the governorship up for grabs. But you definitely did not see this debate, and you probably didn't hear it. In fact, most Californians never even knew there was a debate this morning in the race for governor. It was, in many respects, the hidden debate, with no TV coverage, no cameras allowed, and only some NPR radio stations carrying it live. And when I tried to listen live online, well, that didn't seem to be working either. And so on top of all that, it took place at 10 o'clock in the morning when most Californians were either working or enjoying the day off. The governor's debate that no one watched and probably few listened to was put on by San Francisco public radio station KQED at just about the least convenient time for anyone to listen in, which may be more controversial than anything that was actually said at the debate. If somebody was to say, when can we air something that we want the least number of people to uh, to listen to, this would be the time. The one-hour debate between Democrat Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom and Republican real estate investor John Cox covered a long list of issues with sharp differences on almost every one, like the California housing crisis, about which they traded criticism with Newsom going first. What you heard from John is an illusory strategy uh, where he criticizes no. uh, and identifies <laughs> problems, but with all due respect, doesn't have the details and the strategies to actually solve what you Cox fired back. What, what you heard from Gavin is more government, more plans to pay out money from government. But if you don't really attack the cost of building, the delays in building, the litigation, what you're going to do is institutionalize these high rents. Asked about his conflicts with Governor Jerry Brown and other state legislators in recent years, Newsom responded he's not a go-along-to-get-along guy. If you're looking for timidity, I'm not your person. If you're looking for someone to be bold and courageous, lean into issues. Issues, change the order of things. I'm committing myself to that. And when Cox was asked about his past campaigns in Illinois, where he said there should be a constitutional amendment banning same-sex marriages, and declared there was a problem with transvestite teachers, and warned we could open the floodgates to polygamy and bestiality, and all kinds of other things, this was Cox's response. Those were many, many years ago. I've evolved on those issues, and frankly, just like uh, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, who both opposed gay marriage uh, very strongly for a long time, they evolved and they changed. Cox complained that these questions are not addressing the most important issues facing California. I think the important issues in this race are the affordability for people in this state, the ability to live a productive life and afford gasoline and water and electricity and you know, uh, the failing schools that we're having to put up with, I think those are far more important issues. Asked about whether they're in sync with Californians, Newsom lowered the boom on Cox's endorsement by President Trump in May when he tweeted, California finally deserves a great governor, one who understands borders, crime, and lowering taxes. John Cox is the man. No, I, I say, certainly think we represent the vast majority of Californians that reject uh, John Cox's uh, 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 absolute allegiance to Trump and Trumpism. The candidates also argued over the issue of crime, prison reform, and rehabilitating offenders. Just locking folks up, uh, being quote-unquote tough on crime, I don't think is necessarily the answer. That's the old saw. I think being smart on crime, uh, and I think the example of the last few years is uh, an example of that, I, I think is a much more enlightened approach. Cox charges that Prop 47 downgrading many nonviolent crimes, including drug charges from felonies to misdemeanors, is widely acknowledged now as creating a big problem. You talk to a lot of small retailers and they're finding that this is really creating problems for them. And, you know, uh, Gavin wants to continue Governor Brown's uh, management or, or, or even worse. But the timing and logistics of the debate have probably ensured that it will have minimal impact on the governor's race, if any at all. It's no way to run a democracy. And so I'm disappointed in, in having only one debate and certainly only having one debate in this manner. Now, Professor Garrett told me he blames Democrat Gavin Newsom for limiting the campaign to only one radio debate at a time when very few people could even listen. Garrett says Cox would debate as many times as possible, but Newsom is calling the shots here because he's in the lead. But Garrett says it's an insult to the voters in our democracy to pull a fast one like this. Crystal, back to you. Okay, thank you, Dave.